comics are often very subtle with any inappropriate connotations or sexual innuendos, but sometimes writers throw caution to the wind and we get gems like the 1987 Doom Patrol number 70. Doom Patrol is a team of otherwise successful individuals whose lives are tampered with by Niles Calder, a mad scientist known as the Chief. The Chief orchestrates horrific accidents in their lives so he can turn them into superpowered heroes. Despite their painful backstories, Doom Patrol repeatedly goes toe-to-toe -to -toe with comically named and laughable villains. For example, Eric Morden, also known as Mr. Nobody, was converted into a virtual man by a Nazi scientist and spends his days draining sanity from both Doom Patrol and the comic book readers alike. The descriptively named Animal Vegetable Mineral Man also tries his hand against Doom Patrol in the 1964 Doom Patrol No. 89, following his accident where he fell into a vat of amino acids. For the record, amino acids are not only harmless, but also perfectly edible, making AVM Man's backstory as laughable as his name. But both those villains lacked the visual stimulus of Doom Patrol's most impotent villain, Codpiece. His real name is unknown, but Codpiece's backstory begins with him being portrayed as an average high schooler who is rejected for being generally creepy. The high school girl who rejects him makes the excuse that he's not big enough, innocently referring to his height. However, the thought bubble here shows he interprets this as a slight on his masculinity. In college, Codpiece tries and fails to talk to women due to his growing insecurity, increasing hunch, and presumptuous nature. As he fails in his adult life, he repeats the mantra that women deny him on account of the way he's made. When Godpiece finally pursues medical intervention, he scoffs at the idea of counseling for his obsession. He wouldn't fit the supervillain trope if he had pursued mental health, so Godpiece finds himself pursuing paid intimacy. When asking the opinion of a prostitute, she suggests padding the protection, which leads him to pursuing an engineering alternative. The result is a suit that focuses around the COD piece where he's developed a laser cannon and variety of tools. So what abilities does COD piece have? Because he does not have any supernatural powers, his abilities stem entirely from his COD piece suit. Besides attracting a significant number of lewd comments on his way to rob the bank, COD piece has the ability to fire an energy blast from his laser cannon which destroys the stone pillars and entrance of the bank. The laser cannon must have a cooldown or is not strong enough to penetrate the bank vault because Codpiece breaks out a new tool from his modified utility belt. The Codpiece suit has a high power drill that makes quick work of the massive bank vault. When dealing with the police force, Codpiece uses an ultrasonic sound burst to daze the armed officers. The greatest and likely most comical weapon of Codpiece's suit is not one, but two telescoping boxing gloves. When tearing up the town following his successful robbery, Codpiece fires a barrage of rockets that materialize from his laser cannon. These rockets appear to fire without any input on his part, allowing him to strike this pose while sowing mayhem. Other specs of his suit include Codpiece's helmet, which is at least mildly bulletproof, and the Codpiece in question contains a pair of scissors that are approximately the size of his body. Codpiece is only a one-appearance character, as he is defeated by the budding hero of this comic known as Coagula. Coagula is a retired prostitute who discovered her mysterious ability to coagulate and dissolve any form of matter. This ability has terrifying implications that are never shown, but in this case it does lead to the destruction of Codpiece's main component. Coagula is offered an invitation to join Doom Patrol following her act of heroism. The author of this comic, Rachel Pollock, is responsible for issues 64 through 87 of Doom Patrol and the creation of this unique villain. Thank you for watching this video. Like and subscribe for more videos like this one, and feel free to let us know what topics you'd like us to cover in the future, ranging from Marvel to DC Comics.